love that for me. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my favorites for April 2019. I actually have a good amount of things this month which is surprising because April was not a good month for me but apparently I liked a lot of things so without further ado let us get started <sighs> so the first thing I guess I will start off with my clothing items for the month so the first thing that I love 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 so much this month are my white Keds I am a huge sneaker fan but like sneakers as in like Nikes I have so many pairs of Nikes and then me and my mom went to the States and I saw these and I was like, you know, let us branch out. I've always wanted a pair of like all white shoes and I thought like these are cuter with like capris because your girl is six feet tall. She can't find pants that go all the way down and like summer is hot and I don't always want to wear, you know, shorts sometimes. We want capris, but capris look really stupid with Nikes. I'm a huge fan, and they were on sale. They were only like $30, and Keds are like expensive. I'm just saying. So, I was super excited that I found these, and they are getting put to good use. They're already barely white anymore, so. The next clothing item that I have, I actually got from my boyfriend's mom. She was like super sweet, and she was like, it doesn't fit me, so... I know your favorite color is purple, so it's yours, and I was like, oh! It's like a spring-ish, like going into fall kind of coat, like if you're like at the cottage, and it's like getting cold at night, you throw this on, and it's like fleece inside, so it's warm, but it's not too warm, you know? It's like the perfect spring coat. But I'm a huge fan of purple, we all know this, so I was super excited when she gave it to me and I've been wearing it a lot because right now in Canada it's like trying to decide if it's still winter or if it's summer yet, it still doesn't know. I'm pretty sure she got it from Costco, so I mean go to your local Costco and see if they're still available. Do Americans have Costco? I don't know. We do in Canada. Okay, so now we will move on to our like miscellaneous items. I have three things to share. The first thing is from my boyfriend because like I said, April was a really shitty month for me mentally, you know? So I was like in a mood one day for like five days. So he surprised me and he came over with poutine and this little guy and he's like the cutest thing in the entire world he's a little sheep and he has knees which I think are hilarious but I named him stinky head so that every time I th saw him I would think of my boyfriend because I call him stinky head so he's very soft and I cuddle him when I'm sad we love Ricardo on this channel the next thing is like a plant we'll call him he is my little chia pet. I have named him Bartholomew Bear and I love him very much. I also am fostering my brother's moose. This is his moose, but his room is very dark and um, moose was not growing. So now he's my foster child. Um, he doesn't actually have a first name other than moose, but this is my child and they're best friends and they sit on my bookshelf and I love them very much. They're like super cute. And they just make me happy when I look at them, so they needed to be included in my favorites video. The next thing I got back in February, but I only recently started using it like every single day when I go to work, but it is my little cat book bestie from Chapters. I actually have three of these, not the cat one, but this is the one that I use the most because I love cats, but it matches my planner also. I bring a lunch bag to work and my little book bestie and put it in my lunch bag so that it protects whatever book and my planner. He also has a tail on the back and little ears and like I just think it's like the cutest thing ever so huge fan. Now moving on to food because you know I love food on this channel. The first is a drink. I don't usually talk about drinks on this channel. I mean it's not alcoholic so like it's not like a scandalous, but it's just weird for me to talk about a drink. I'm like obsessed with these lately. This month I've been drinking them like crazy and they're like really expensive. So like we hate to have this addiction, but I can't help it. But it is called Calypso. There's like 
six different flavors, I think. This is the Coconut Cotillata Limeade. And then my other favorite is the blue one, which is blue raspberry lemonade, which I mean like it's literally just pure sugar, but you know, we have a sweet tooth. So for my alcoholics out there or just people who like alcohol beverages, this would make really good chaser. So you're welcome. They're like pretty much available at any like convenience store. Like, I don't know what convenience stores y'all have in America, but like here it's like Hasty Market, 7-Eleven, that kind of shit. Yeah, no? But any gas station usually has them as well. So go check it out. See if they're there because they're real good. The next item of candy that I have is these watermelon slices. I think that they're Maynards, to be honest. Not 100% sure because I took them out of the package. I'm pretty sure it's the same people that make like Sour Patch Kids and like Sour Cherry Blasters. These are sour watermelons, but I'm a huge fan. Ricardo got them for me and I just like can't stop eating them. So we have a sugar problem on this channel. And then more candy, obviously. It's chocolate candy. Like I'm not sure if it qualifies as candy or if it's like in a whole other like category let me know because I, I actually don't know but they are called oh my gods I don't know if Americans have them I'm guessing you do I'm honestly not really sure what is in these things but I know that there's pretzels and I know that there's peanut butter and chocolate but there's like something else in here that makes it like crack and you can't stop eating it it's so good but I'm obsessed so and now for my favorite pot of the video where I get to lip sync poorly to the music I've been loving this month. Basically all I've been listening to this month is Lizzo and her new album because I'm obsessed with Lizzo. I discovered her last month. If you guys watched my favorites video I had juice on it. I have two new songs that I'm like obsessed with. Honestly I could play you the whole album because I'm obsessed with it but these are the two that have been like on the loop that I keep going back to. The first one is called Good As Hell and this one is actually from like a really really long time ago from her coconut oil album. I actually saw this song on season 10 of Drag Race which is where I discovered Lizzo from so here it is. <laughs> I love that song so much. It's literally like such a like girl anthem and it's just like fuck men, you know? The next Lizzo song has been like my anthem for all of April. It's basically a fuck you to men and um, can relate for the month of April. So <laughs> it's called Truth Hurts. So here it is. <laughs> I'm literally just so obsessed with that song. It was literally on repeat for like three weeks of April, so. I mean, don't worry now, we're all good, but it's a fuck you men anthem, so here for it. All right guys, so that was my April favorites for 2019. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites this month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.